Hey, welcome to today's video where I want to share with you 10 things I bought in my life that are very worth the money. I don't need it. I don't need it. So the first thing on my list is a book about ETFs. It's one of the, my favorite books that helped me getting started into investing money into uh, ETFs. I started around five years ago and it paid off like 10, 20 times. I cannot stress how much it is worth buying this book. So this one helped me to lose the fear about investing because I was afraid that I would lose money. I was afraid that I will not get my money back if the stocks drop because in the beginning they dropped quite a lot, but I stayed with it and it was very worth the money. So I can just recommend reading about ETFs and try to get started with investing some of your salary. The second thing on my list is probably not a buy for life, but it's highly worth the money. It's an iPhone. For me, at least it was worth it because I love filming, photographing, usually used by iPhones three to six years. This one, very worth the money. Imagine sitting on the plane and you want to listen to your movie. You want to listen to your favorite podcast, but the background noise is super annoying and it stresses you out. So the next thing on my list are my AirPods. They have noise cancelling. I use them daily. Also this hands off feature of switching between devices is very worth the money because before that I used only uh, other headphones like the Sennheiser uh, over ear ones. I use them still for zoom calls. So the fourth thing on my list, it helps me keep the flat clean. I hate if there's like dirt on the floor. I also hate getting out the vacuum, finding like an empty plug, putting it in and moving the whole big thing around. So the next thing is a cordless vacuum. It's a dreamy something. One of the best items I bought for the flat because it helps me keep the, the, the flat clean and it's very versatile. You can use it outside for the car. You can use it inside for your flat on the balcony. So the next thing on my list is something that I'm addicted to. I'm a bit of a coffee addict. Who wants coffee? And I started with the standard Bialetti one. It's one of the like cheapest things to get into good coffee. You buy the good grinder, you buy uh, the Spialetti one and you have very quality coffee. But if you want to level up and go to the next game, buy a big, a good coffee machine. And I bought an Italian handmade coffee machine that makes espresso. It's a purely espresso machine that can also make cappuccino. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate having two to three cappuccinos a day or espressos a day. And this one was very well worth the money. It is quite expensive, but very nice and convenient. The only thing to consider here is that it is afterwards very hard to drink coffee outside because this coffee is so good that you always want to have this perfect coffee from home. And in the like cafes outside, usually they don't take it that serious as you do. Seriously? And that's why it's a bit of a two-sided sword. And I would say buy one, but be mindful that you will have trouble drinking coffee afterwards outside. So the next item on my list is related to reading again. So as I said, I love books. I love like physical books. I really appreciate having like pages to turn, the feeling, the smell. Books are really nice. I often read in the evenings or in the plane. You often don't have like light around. That's why a Kindle. It's one of the best things you can buy for like a hundred euros. It is super convenient to read on. You can bring like tons of book to your vacation. In this one, you can store like thousands of books just in your backpack and it's super light battery holds up for weeks you have backlight on it's like perfect thing if you love reading highly recommend buying one so the next thing on my list is something for everyone who do not have floor heating i really love warm feet but i also don't have floor heating so i bought a pair of slippers these are from uniqlo they are quite cheap but they keep my feet very warm with these things you can just turn down the heating, you can just put on a warm pullover and you feel way more comfortable and having warm feet is like a game changer for me at least. The eighth thing on my list is related to health again. As I said, I love coffee. Coffee dehydrates you and you need to drink a lot of water, two to three liters a day. I often forget to fill up my water glasses. That's why a water bottle is a game changer for me. I fill it up at least twice a day in the morning and during lunchtime. Also, I love this Nalgena one because it's super heavy duty, so it does not break. 
It's super light. It has a big lip, it's so it's very easy to fill up, but also very easy to drink from. Also, this little plastic thingy works perfectly with the carabiner to just clip it on your backpack and have it always around. My ninth thing on my list is something related to sleep. I found it very hard to fall asleep in the evening without any noise. That's why I appreciate having audible books. Putting them on in the evening is very convenient and easy. I usually have the subscription for a few months, buying all the audible books I like and then cancel it and just hear them on the go. So for me at least, it's a game changer to have the audiobooks always around and listening to them on the go and falling asleep to them as well. So the last thing on my list is something related to health again. Imagine you're in the kitchen and you want to cut some onions. How do we dice an onion? And it's very hard to like cut through them. If you have a dull knife, it's just messing around with it and it's not nice to have. But if you have a sharp knife, this is the game changer. For me, this Kotetsu Bunker is one of the best knives I could buy for money. It's a handmade Japanese knife. It's like razor sharp. It cuts through everything like a charm and I really appreciate it. One thing I would buy with whetstones to sharpen them. I usually sharpen my knife three to four times a year. Like having a sharp knife in the kitchen, one of the best things you can own. So that's it with the 10 things buy for life. Let me know in the comments what are your top three things from this list or if you would add something. Thanks for watching and see you next time.